Hey there folks and welcome to Harlequin's News. My name's Mark and I'm here to bring you all the latest news, new releases and event info for this week. We have a lot to cover this week with card games and miniatures aplenty. So without further ado, let's crack on with it. So as usual, let's begin by looking at what's on this week at Harlequin's, starting with Preston. As always, these events don't change from one week to the next, so please pause the video if you would like to read all of the information displayed. Details for any of these events can be found on the website. So the first event that's different to the usual schedule is tomorrow. Yes, this Saturday in Preston we have a Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Dueling release event. For those of you that have been following Speed Dueling, you will already know this is an exciting new format for Yu-Gi-Oh! that has breathed fresh life into this long-standing game. Find out how fast and furious this new format is by coming down and learning all about it. This beginner-focused event starts at 1.30pm and goes on until 7pm, but don't worry, you don't need to play all day. Just drop down when you like between 1.30 and 7 to take part and learn to play. The entry fee is £8 and each first-time participant will get one Speed Duel branded lanyard, a score pad and an objective card. Complete the objectives on the card to claim a Speed Duel branded rubber playmat. This event is fun and casual, so don't fret, everyone will get to have a great time and walk away with this cool new playmat. Don't forget to check the Harlequins website to get the full information. Hope to see you all there! Also on Saturday, we have the monthly Harlequins Preston Standard Showdown. Start time is 2pm, with the event open to play until 7pm. Again, you don't need to play all day, but as we do this every month, I'm guessing you all know the score by now. It's free to come and play in this event and you'll even win some cool standard showdown boosters. As the event is free, you have no excuse to stop you from coming down and playing. Right, that's Preston's week sorted, so what's going on in Blackpool? Well, here's what's on this week, as usual, in Harlequin's Blackpool. Again, these are regular events, so please pause the video if you wish to read them all and please check the website for more info. So the first event that's different to the usual schedule for Blackpool is Sunday. This Sunday in Blackpool we have a Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Duel release event. This event is the same as the event in Preston, but to recap, if you've not gotten a chance to play Speed Duel yet, this is the perfect opportunity to learn and have fun. Again, this is a beginner-focused event that starts at 2.30pm and goes on until 7pm, but don't worry, you don't need to play all day. Just drop down when you like, between 2.30 and 7 to take part and learn to play. Just like Preston, the entry fee is £8 and each first time participant will get one Speed Duel branded lanyard, a score pad and an objective card. Complete the objectives on the card to claim a Speed Duel branded rubber playmat. This event is fun and casual, so don't fret, everyone will get to have a great time and walk away with this cool new playmat. Don't forget to check the Harlequins website to get the full information before getting your butts down here and learning to play this great new format. Also on the same day, we have the monthly Harlequins Blackpool Standard Showdown. Start time is 2pm, with the event open to play in until 7pm. And just like Preston, you don't need to play all day, but as this is a monthly event, I'm guessing that you all know that already. It's free to come and play in this event, and you'll even win some cool Standard Showdown boosters. As I said in Preston's version of this event, this event is free, so therefore you've got absolutely no excuse to come down and have some fun and get some free goodies. And that's the end of the events for this week. Please remember if you're unsure about any details about an event, you can always check our website for more information. Or if you still can't find what you need to know, you can contact us directly and we'll be happy to help. With all that said, let's move on to the new card game releases. So first up for card game releases this week is the new Pokemon trading card game, Mel Metal GX Box. I first mentioned this back in episode 12 and now it's finally here! Releasing Friday the 15th of February, this deluxe box set contains one foil promo card featuring Melmetal GX, one foil promo card featuring Meltan, one foil oversized card featuring Melmetal GX, and four Pokemon TCG booster packs, all for the low Harlequins price of £19. Better catch one before they all get away! Next up for card games, we have the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG Structure Deck Soul Burner. This is another goodie you've all been waiting for that I mentioned way back in episode 11. Still, it's here now and it's releasing Thursday the 14th of February. Ooh, how romantic! 
I'm sure many of you will have a burning passion for this set of cards, so you'll be happy to know that at Harlequin's price they are £7.50 each, or you can buy a menage a trois of them for £21. Steamy. Next up for card game releases, we have Cardfight Vanguard Miyagi Academy CF Club Booster Pack. Yet another set that was mentioned back in episode 12 that is now finally arriving on our shores. Releasing Friday the 15th, this set contains 84 cards with support for Royal Paladin, Oracle Think Tank, Gold Paladin, Nubatama, and Norikami clans. This booster set is £3.50 a booster at Harlequin's price, or you can buy a booster box which contains 16 boosters for Harlequin's price of £50. And lastly for new card game releases, we have Magic the Gathering Ravnica Allegiance Guild Kits. These five different boxes contain decks which harken back to Ravnica's past as well as containing cards from its present. As such, these decks aren't standard legal, but they are great fun to play against one another and are a great way of getting some of these hard to get cards, some complete with gorgeous new artwork. At the tiny Harlequin's price of £16 each, why not pledge your allegiance to a guild and get stuck in? Stock is limited though, so you better plane to walk to the shop quick shop. So that's all next week's card game releases. So what's coming out for card games in the future? Well, we have a couple of new things on the horizon this week. So we'll start with Cardfight Vanguard Booster Pack Volume 4, Violist Deleter. This set is scheduled for a March release and the set is 84 cards strong with support for Deleter and Shadow Paladin clans. The RRP of this set is £3.99 at Booster. Next up we have a plethora of releases for Pokemon, mostly arriving in March and themed around the new Pokemon Detective Pikachu movie. First off we have Detective Pikachu Special Case File. This box contains one promo card featuring Detective Pikachu on the case, one metallic coin inspired by Detective Pikachu, two Pokemon TCG Detective Pikachu booster packs, one Pokemon TCG Sun and Moon series booster pack, a Detective Pikachu four pocket binder. You can get all this for an RRP of £20.99. Next up we have Detective Pikachu Charmizard GX case file. This box set includes one foil promo card featuring Charizard GX, one foil oversized card featuring Charizard GX, four Pokemon TCG Detective Pikachu booster packs, two Pokemon TCG Sun and Moon series booster packs, and you can get all of this for an RRP of £20.99. Next up we have Detective Pikachu Greninja GX case file. This box set includes one foil promo card featuring Greninja GX, one foil oversized card featuring Greninja GX, one pin featuring Greninja, five Pokemon TCG Detective Pikachu booster packs, two Pokemon TCG Sun and Moon series booster packs. You can get all this for an RRP of $25.99. All the previous three releases are scheduled for a March release. There is one more release for Detective Pikachu series, however, that seems to be scheduled for May rather than March. The item in question is the Detective Pikachu Collector Chest. This beautiful lunchbox style tin contains 7 Pokemon TCG Detective Pikachu booster packs, 2 Pokemon TCG Sun and Moon series booster packs, a cool collector's pin inspired by Detective Pikachu, a Pokemon notepad and sticker sheet. You can get this gorgeous collector's item and contents for £25.99 RRP. Right, that's all the card game news and releases for this week, so let's move on to new releases for board games. So it's been a bit of a quiet week for board games this week, however there is a brilliant expansion coming out this week for my current favourite board game, Resident Evil 2. The survival horror expansion adds a plethora of extra characters, PvP characters, upgrades, enemies, new scenarios and much more. As I already alluded to, I am deeply impressed with how enjoyable this game is and how this game captures the theme and spirit of the original PlayStation 1 game. This expansion can be obtained from Harlequins at the umbrella approved Harlequins price of £31.50. Other than that, I'm afraid there really isn't much in the way of board games this week, but let's have a look and see if there is anything new on the horizon. 
So upcoming for board games, we have the highly anticipated crossover for lovers of Games Workshop that want something that they can play casually with their friends and family, without painting whole new armies and explaining a whole lot of rules that is. Munchkin Warhammer 40,000 Munchkin has always been a madcap game and the zaniness of the Warhammer universe fits perfectly with its over the top style of play. This set contains 168 cards with which players can use to slap each other with power swords or call on legions of guardsmen or demons to help them. You also get rules, custom die and a level tracker all for the Emperor's waistline thin RRP of $28.99. I'm sure that if you act nicely and pray to a chaos god or two, Harlequins will come up with an even smaller price though, but at what cost to your immortal soul? Anyway, that's all the new board game releases and news for this week, so let's move on to miniatures releases. So from Games Workshop to Games Workshop. We have for release on Saturday the 9th of February, i.e. tomorrow, all the items mentioned last week. These are Codex Genestealer Cult, £20 at Harlequin's price. Data Cards Genestealer Cult, £9 at Harlequin's price. Dice Genestealer Cult, £16 at Harlequin's price. Atalan Jackals, £27.50 at Harlequin's price. Jackal Alpharus, £19 at Harlequin's price. Clamavius, £13.50 at Harlequin's price. Locus, £13.50 at Harlequin's price. Magus, £13.50 at Harlequin's price. Nexos, £13.50 at Harlequin's price. Sanctus, £13.50 at Harlequin's price. Sector Mechanicus Tectonic Frag Drill, £30 at Harlequin's price. Phew, that was quite a few releases. But hold on to your hats, we have a whole bunch more coming out for Games Workshop very soon. February the 16th, to be exact. As usual, I have no pictures for these items as Games Workshop will not allow us to advertise their own products. However, I will do what I started last week and put the list on screen so that you can see what I'm talking about at the very least. If you would like to see pictures of what I'm going to talk about, then please go to the Warhammer Community website. As always, I'll leave the link in the description box below. So, upcoming for GW we have, all prices are recommended retail price. Carrion Empire, £95. Skaven Battle Tome, £25. Skaven Endless Spells, £20. Skaven Dice, £17.50. Skaven Gnaw Holes, £32.50. Skaven Clan Rats, £20.50. Flesh Eater Court Battle Tome, £25. Flesh Eater Court Endless Spells, £20. Flesh Eater Court Charnel Throne, £20.50. Gene Stiller Cult Biophagus, £15. Gene Stiller Cult Abominant, £15. Gene Stiller Cult Aberrant, £25. Gene Stiller Cult Achilles Ridge Runner, £27.50. Again, everything shown on screen is scheduled for a February 16th release date. Oh, told you we had a lot to get through. But if you think we're done, then you're in for a shock as we have even more. This time, however, for Star Wars X Wing Miniatures game. These are all scheduled for March release, but I already have Harlequin's prices and photos. Gee willikers. Well, we better have a look then. First off, we have. X-Wing, Servants of Strife Squadron. This separatist box set is £35 at Harlequin's price. X-Wing Sith Infiltrator. This separatist box set is £35 at Harlequin's price. X-Wing Vulture Class Droid Fighter. This separatist blister pack is £18 at Harlequin's price. X-Wing Guardians of the Republic Squadron. This Galactic Republic box set is £35 at Harlequin's price. X-Wing ARC-170, Starfighter. This Galactic Republic blister pack is £26 at Harlequin's price. X-Wing Delta-7, Aether Sprite. This Galactic Republic blister pack is £18 at Harlequin's price. X-Wing Z-95, AF-4, Headhunter expansion pack. 
this scum and villainy blister pack is £18 at Harlequin's price. X-Wing Thai SK Striker Expansion Pack. This Galactic Empire blister pack is £18 at Harlequin's price. And finally, that is all the new and upcoming releases for miniatures this week. So with that said, that's everything for card, board and miniatures games for this week, so back to me. There you go then folks, that's you all caught up. Thank you so much for sticking with us until the end of this video, there was an awful lot to get through this week. As always, I really hope that you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please consider giving us a thumbs up, it really does help the channel grow. And while you're at it, please remember to subscribe so that you stay up to date with all of Team Harlequin's new videos. But otherwise than that, that's everything for this week. So thank you very much for watching. Take care of each other and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye folks.